It's Dick Deacon, eating trash and smoking that tweaking. Welcome back, friends. If you're looking for some ridiculous jerk to talk to you about toys for a few minutes, you've come to the right place. Toy Lips. Ooh. And I want to take a quick lick, a quick look at the Human Fly from the Spider-Man 5-Pack box set. It is a set of D-list villains on reused bodies. I'll make a short little video on each of them, and I'll show off some other characters using the same body. Leave me a like if that sounds like a thing. So, 2-Bit Trigger Man Dick Deacon, no kidding, stumbles into the lab of the brother of the guy who turned Matt Gargan into the Scorpion for J. Jonah Jameson. And, no kidding, he has his own lab set up to do the same thing where, no kidding, Jameson is there, petitioning him to mutate someone else. No kidding! So Deacon's like, I love Vincent Price, do me! And he becomes the human fly. With all the powers of... of a fly. Right on. Tightening up on our boy here, this is just full-on reuse of the Bucky Cap mold. Very plain, the details are just painted on. It's this head that is brand new, and it looks really nice. Gotta love the uh, the sculpted open mouth there, going way back. Teeth, and tongue, and lips. All painted really nicely, all things considered. He's got his special eyes painted in red there. And otherwise, that's the, the only extra bit of detail on the figure. Aside from the wings that are just, they clip onto the hole in the back here with this little pack. And the wings are pretty nicely sculpted here with these textured sections painted like a translucent teal color. That actually looks great. They have a little bit of movement here back and forward. You'll see if you get the pack for yourself here, you just, you have to plug them in. You just shove them in and then shove this sucker in. Bucky Cap body mold. This head is on a disc hinge. It'll come back this far. Uh, that's, that's great for a flying character. And he looks down this far, quite a ways. Minimal amount of tilt. But it will, of course, rotate. And the shoulders will come up like this, and they'll rotate like this. And this thing here will rotate. Be careful if you're getting resistance here at the elbow. These joints are so gummy. The whole thing will just blow apart if you force it. I'm not making that up. Something we don't always consider, maybe, in their cost cutting, where they're like, we'll, re we'll reuse this body mold, paint it up for a different character, and it works fine here. Perfectly serviceable. But the other thing is, I don't know this side of it, but it's like they cut the plastic with something. You know what I mean? Like, more water. It's, it's diluted, so it's not the same nice quality on, say, let's say, Vulcan or the new Black Panther on that same body. But this is, I mean, we, we've all got a lot of Bucky Cap bodies over the years. But these are, I mean, this is crazy gummy how some figures come out lately. They don't do it to all of them. But they're like, oh, we can shortchange these guys here. And maybe no one will notice. Because they can't quite quantify that. But here I am, quantifying it, man. It's a, it's just, it's a weaker plastic. And it's obviously the same thing. It's PVC or ABS, right? I do believe this is the polyvinyl chloride. But, but like I said, I think it's cut with something. Because it's just, it's just, it's bad gummy. It's just bad gummy. It's weird. Same, same thing at your legs, at your knee joints. I mean, that's silly. You could just, with minimal, with minimal effort, probably like a half pound of pressure, you could just yank that right out of there. <laughs> he does have the ab crunch. The paint detail is, it's nice-ish. If you get closer, you can see blurred lines and things like that. But from, from back here, it, it does look nice and clean. Very simple. It's got these little, Little arrows, little flare and whatnot are above the boots and above the gloves. You can still do the splits like a champ, though. This this body is perfectly serviceable. It's just old, it's crusty, it's missing butterfly joints. But he has the upper thigh cut and the double-jointed knees and the calf cut and the ankles coming back like this, forward like this, and great ankle rocker. For accessories, he also comes with a set of grabbing hands for, you know, grabbing trash to eat or whatever. And then the, the wings, of course, this is a separate piece here, just pegs into the back. So you could actually, you could stick this on anybody with the proper hole. Basic Bucky Cap body puts him about six and three eighths of an inch to the top of his head. And here he is next to Spider-Man and Venom. And the other villains from this box set. So, of course, the most disappointing thing here is their choice to reuse this body mold for this character. To reuse it for anybody. This is the 11th year of this body. It's just outmodded trash. People see it coming and they walk the other way. Though he is in good company, as over the years we've gotten a lot of notable characters on this body mold. Spider-Man villains like Boomerang. They lean off to the side, they have trouble standing. And Carnage. You know, and again, he's a simple figure, but it's it's the way they've done the paint and these extra tendril pieces and such. They kind of break it up a little. Okay, look. Somebody, some of you are going to have to stand back up here. You just lean against that wall. 
in some cases, it's reuse with really, really minimal effort here, like uh, Daredevil. It's just painted effects here, and he's got this holster for his batons. But uh, otherwise, it's just this this sinewy frame here, and it looks it looks good on Mr. Murdoch. Uh, they would just repaint it for different variations of the costume. You can see it's even the same head there. You know, more simple cases here. Quasar, he's just got a cape on. It's just Flash Gordon with a cape on. They they did re they did redo the arms and the uh, the legs from the calf down. I like that. I like the way the frames are sort of modular, and you can just keep this part of it that's a little more inconsequential. And I, again, I think he cuts a nice figure. Some of them go heavier into the overlays to sort of disguise the reuse, like uh, Colonel Fury here. And he looks good with all, all this under his pouches and whatever. How about Taskmaster? Same deal. These are all on the same body mold. They just found different sort of creative ways to, to dress it up a little. And I think it works on a lot of cases, but you can see on some of these pieces. I mean, it's just wacky, warped, junky, crusty. It's fine. <laughs> Fury. It's cool. It's just an LMD. So there was a version of this where I was going to try to match up all the box set characters with like X-Men variants, but the Ultron body, you know what I mean? So how about, here's Cyclops, 80s, 80s X-Factor costume. That's a Bucky cap. He looks nice and clean, iconic. We would, of course, prefer and will get an update. But it's fun as a segue here, his brother, 80s Havoc. This is on a, a body that appears on another character in the box set, but I think this would have been a better choice for the Fly character. It's just, it's a nicer body in general, and that should be enough, but it's got the little amenities like butterfly shoulders. And it's just a smoother, cleaner looking figure. Not that Scotty here is in bad shape, he just looks, it's dated. Dated is the word, because again, this is year 11 they've been using this body. After they said they were going to retire it. They, technically, they didn't say when. Now, some characters have actually appeared on both versions of the body. Here is the Walgreens exclusive Human Torch on the Bucky cap, as well as the updated, the newer version, and that's on this body right here. Since we got Daredevil back there somewhere, his nemesis Bullseye is on this same body mold, and uh, it's, it works out great. It's just It's got that little bit of extra range and personality you can give it by being able to swivel the shoulders. Point that thing at me, bud. Other characters that have appeared on all of the above. Here we have the Juggernaut Waves Deadpool. That is a Bucky cap. And then this is the update. It's just a pile of men. And he's, he's just he's got that better articulation. It's really more representative. This is a classic Deadpool. This is a modern Deadpool. His actual, his harness I put on my mostly Bucky cap over here. You can see just more creative ways that they've chosen to reuse this body. These are just unique legs. It's great. It's great. And otherwise, it, you know, an upper torso of the Bucky cap. And it's got the more, the, the brighter red. But before we leave here, the most egregious use, I think, of the body is on the original X-Men lineup Cyclops. This is a 16-year-old kid. This is a 16-year-old kid. Does that seem legit? Disgusting. <laughs> Xavier had a hell of a gym at that school. Just wow. You have to tell yourself that this is this is adult Scotty just putting this thing back on, this uniform back on for kicks. My God. It's like, who's worse, man? Them putting this together or me for paying money for it? Yuck. Just, just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. Stop being coy. Stop making up the weirdest excuses that don't even make sense, man. Just please, just... Let's just get rid of it. So anyway, I know. How much can you say about a Bucky cap? In this case, this is not creative reuse. This is just junk. The head is nice. The wings are fun. Otherwise, the joints are gummier than ever. I don't really know what that's about, but they do. And they know that it's wrong. Don't tell me what they knew. Another way to put some pennies in the pockets of their people, I'm sure. I do appreciate your choice to click on this video, though. I know you see it and you're like, how much could you really say about this thing? Well, don't you worry. The lips will find something to flap about. But to hear less and see more, go ahead and check me out on Instagram, where I'm posting pictures of posing action figures. Like, comment, and subscribe to this channel right here, and I'll break down the rest of the creeps in this box coming up soon. Thanks.